Hello guys, how are you doing today? It's Taya and all films here again. Okay, I just added that now. I don't know. I'm still thinking of what to use for my intro. So I was opportune to go to Abeokuta, about some just presidential library, and I had the chance of doing a video. Show me how to feel under your control. Everything is real So hit me So hit me So hit me First a confession With you, I feel a connection With you, it's like an infection I've been infected with an obsession With you, never any tension Nothing but love and affection Enough of my case, so let's cut to the chase Listen up, cause these are the directions, directions. Obey what I say, don't complain I don't wanna hear questions Follow my lead, time to fall to your knees It's an order, it's not a suggestion You need to be thinking about How can your business aid development? Stripped of all freedom, you want nothing but my possession Head back, hands tied Shut eyes wide Baby, I'm yours So baby, I'm yours Whatever you say, go During this period that I went to the library I recently discovered that he actually had a, a museum that covers all his works and everything he has been up to over the years from when he was in prison to when he took over as president most of the clips I'm going to be showing today are clips that we I was able to get when I was there. This museum is located in Abeokuta State, that is Abeokuta Ogun State, which is like an hour from Lagos if there is no traffic, an hour from Bega, that's Ojodu Bega in Lagos. contains all the artifacts, all the gifts he has gotten. It also contains a replica of presidential seats when he was the president of Nigeria. Among that, it also contains gifts he has gotten over the years from different friends. Inside its library, he has a cinema, he has an event space, he has a zoo. I did a vlog of that some, I think some weeks back. He has so many interesting and fun things and activities but what really caught my attention was the museum which was like the museum is actually amazing like you really need to visit this place it's really amazing it's top notch i think for for the museum to be able to get access to it you have to like book a tour on their website and i think it's three thousand naira per head so it's not overly expensive the experience is pretty worth it according to some of the people who took us around it was the first and only presidential library a presidential museum in the whole of africa we watched um, movies about him i didn't have an opinion about him up until i met him in person so i feel he's a playful person there was even a point where he gave me a knock on my head i think there's a clip there's a clip on it i was just trying to take a picture and he just came and i think my head was shiny and he just came and just gave me a knock on my head I think uh, he's actually, I wouldn't say I'm not uh, somebody who likes to talk about political matters, but as a person, and from what I saw that day, he was actually a very friendly and jovial person. I think it's 81, it's 81 years old now, so I don't want this whole vlog to just be about him. I want it to be more about the museum experience I, was, I went through when I was able to visit the museum. We're not allowed to take any picture or any video inside the museum. I think they have a point of doing this because they feel if they show, if they allow anybody to just come in and take pictures and videos, people wouldn't be incentivized to come and see the museum themselves. And I don't think any picture or any video can do justice to you being 
in that place and also experiencing it yourself. Agriculture was the major focus of our economy. And I think this remained the situation well into the early part of our independence. The time I became aware was at the beginning of the 1950s. Political favor had been building up in Africa and in the world generally. Because by 1947, India had independence. And the effect of that has spread and was felt all over the world, including our part of the world. Secondary school whetted my appetite because we have some teachers who are politically aware and interested. Then the country was agog with political activities and we could smell independence. And the politicians were going to London for conferences and working out with the British how our independence will come, writing the Constitution. So we were all growing daily, full of expectation, full of what independence will bring. What a new age, a new world it will be. So I went on this tour with um, the Dare experience you have probably seen in some of my videos, like the one I did about the Mavic Air and Sai Mianian photography, but it also does documentary. I'm going to put their Instagram handles below so you can also give them a follow. The International Women's Day program, I, I think I would like to see more women doing great stuff in Nigeria and all over the world because it's incentivizing um, women to stand up and also to create businesses, create ideas, create revolutions that can actually change the world. So it was actually a great program and I look forward to attending more programs like that. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Uh, see you guys. Peace.